Okay gang, so here's the deal. Right now if you look online, most of the feedback you get about the Smuggler's Run DLC is, well, bad. People are really upset about it. Not because the planes aren't cool, not because the cars they're coming out aren't cool, not because the missions suck, although the missions are pretty much the same thing over and over again just with planes, which I'm okay with. I mean, when you have a game, it has a certain structure to it. So you should expect that when you get more of that game, it has a similar structure. That's, that's a classic thing. You'll have to excuse my voice a little bit, I'm fighting a cold. Well, I guess you don't have to, but I'd, I'd appreciate it if you would. But this epiphany I've had about GTA 5 couldn't wait for my, my normal voice to come back, so we're just gonna run with it. What people don't like about it is it is so mind-bogglingly expensive. I mean, if you want everything in the DLC, it's like $75 million or $60 million or some, some unbelievable amount of money. If you just want the basics, basically a hangar and a plane to put it in, you're looking at about $8 million, which is a $100 shark card. Compare that to the fact that you could get all of the Fallout 4 DLC for 50 bucks if you didn't get it for the initial 30 bucks. If you're some really wealthy person and you want to just buy a bunch of shark cards and get all the DLC, then you're looking at something, I've heard estimates of over $700. You need, uh, you need at least seven shark cards to pull that off. That's insane. But I think it's still the best thing that Rockstar has done for us, and I'm going to tell you why. What this has done is it has broken the expectation that we can have everything in this game. With gun running, I spent hours trying to grind away at those unlocks and, and try and, and advance things so I could get myself an MOC and then upgrade at least my my uh, my insurgent pickup. You know, you're trying to trying to get that money, get that money, get that money. And now, boom, here's Smuggler's Run. And now I'm looking at, I would need, what, $120 million to try and get caught up with everything? No, it's just not going to happen. It's just not. And that's okay. I don't think Rockstar really perhaps ever intended everybody to get everything. They want to give you a lot of options so you can get your signature thing, whether it's an armored personnel carrier or a, a Tula bomber or whatever that thing is that you're going to use as your that's signature your deal, your, your vehicle, and they want to give you a lot of options for that. It's actually more like real life. In real life, you know, most people don't have all the planes. They have a plane. They don't have all the supercars. They have a supercar. And even that's kind of a shaky thing to say. In real life, everyone has a supercar. I mean, the closest thing I have to a supercar is my 96 Thunderbird, which is probably not considered a supercar in most people's eyes. Most of us are not going to smell Ferrari leather unless we're at a car show, and that's okay, too. It's not stuff that makes you happy in life, and really, it's not necessarily stuff that makes you happy in game. When I was still chasing after the gun running stuff, I was doing whatever the double RP stuff was and, you know, grinding out the supply missions and doing whatever I could to try and get advanced into the whole gun running thing. When most of the time I just wanted to do some racing and when was the last time you saw a racing video from me? Not in a while, I haven't done a lot of it. What you see in this video, the actual gameplay video that I have up on the screen, is me getting a Brioso and a Contender, which were the last two cars I kind of needed so that I have something good for every class, every kind of class race. And the reason I did that is because when they announced the, the, uh, the Smuggler's Run kind of stuff, suddenly it freed me from the grind. It let me out of the Skinner box that is this game. If you don't know what a Skinner box is, Google that. There's a lot of interesting stuff on it. Basically, it was a psychological experiment sort of thing where you put a pigeon in a box and if it pecks a certain button or something like that, it gets a treat. So you train the pigeon to keep pecking the, the button until it gets the treat. And most video games work like that. And they'll, they'll actually get you playing the game when you don't want to play the game because you want the bonus. That's where grinding comes from. But now with everything so far out of reach, there's just no point of pecking the button 70 million times until you get the things you want. The second benefit from doing all this is all those people who had gotten bored because they had an unlimited amount of money because they had been grinding the game for so long that now all they could do is fly around in hydras and blast people now have something they can work for. There's still more to do. 
And yes, the smugglers run stuff might not be the most profitable. Think about that. We're always trying to figure out what's the most profitable thing. We'll just do the most profitable thing to get the most money, as opposed to saying, what would I like to do today? I actually do want a hangar and a plane, because I have a feeling that working with Nervous Ron is going to be hilarious if they did it right. It, it's it's got to be hilarious. But that's my only motivation for even eventually trying to get there, and I mean eventually. Eventually, when I look up and I've got a few million dollars in the account, I think, you know what? I feel like flying an airplane today, and I'm going to go see what Nervous Ron's doing. Then I'll do that. But not today. Today, if I'm doing anything, I'm probably going to be racing. I got these two new vehicles here, which I have themed, by the way, as a Mario and Luigi pair of cars here. It suddenly occurred to me that the Brioso, I was trying to think, what can I paint this as? Because, you know, I don't want to do another black car. I want to do something a little different. And I thought, it's a Brioso. We'll do it like it's for a Mario. And then the contender was just perfect for Luigi because it's like he's compensating for being player two. Now, I've already recorded a clip at the end where I tweaked the paint job on the Luigi one a little bit, so it's a little bit nicer. I mean, stay tuned for that. And those paint jobs are actually such a nice change of pace. I might do a whole bunch of Mario and Luigi cars, just, you know, a little video game homage. Because you know how I love to do homages. Homage. Yeah. But that's the best part. See, now I'm, I'm released. I don't have to try and pursue everything here because Rockstar has put so much into the game. We have to give them credit for that. They've put so much into the game, we can never have it all. So now, just like life, you have to pick what you want, go after that, and be happy with it. You know, you can't, can't constantly be looking, we're all programmed to be constantly looking for the next thing, for more, 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 more. And now this game, they've, they've made such an approximation of life that you have to choose and pick and, and decide what it is you want and just get that and be happy with it. And I think that's a good thing. Will I still try to buy an MOC? Will I still get a hanger? If I feel like it, if that's what I want to do in the game, then I'll do that. And I think it might be really good for this channel too, because as a, as a vlogger here, uh, I've decided I can no longer try and even chase after the big boys here as far as keeping up with every single latest new thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm, my income on this channel is two bucks a month. So there's no way I can justify buying, you know, a thousand dollars worth of shark cards and then, you know, buying every single thing in the game. I'm going to leave all that to Brophy and Pyrelm and the others. And because I'm not doing that, because I'm not constantly chasing that cutting edge, waiting for GTA to stop throwing me curveballs, so I'm only doing GTA hey, so videos, right. now Let I'm free to do other there, games. So hopefully there'll be a greater variety on this channel and you'll be more interested. The entertainment value will increase. And you too can benefit from this. I would invite all of my viewers, everyone who's within the sound of my voice, and even those who can't hear me, I'll still invite them, they won't hear it, but I'll still invite them to take the same approach to, to all video games. Do what's fun. When it stops being fun, don't do that anymore. What brings you in today? Move on to something else. If they, if they make it too much of a grind because they're trying to get you to you do microtransactions or something like that, move on to the next thing if you don't want to do microtransactions. Don't, make, don't let the game make you crazy. Because I will tell you, I have found myself playing GTA because I had certain goals and it became work. And a game should not be work. I mean, even, all right, I can justify it, perhaps improperly, because I'm a vlogger. Okay, well, this is, you know, I'm trying to do this as a side job, but I'm not just gaming. I'm doing more than that. I'm trying to build a channel and blah, blah, blah. But the end result, though, still just stuck in the Skinner box. But now the lid is off and I'm free. Free to fly away. Or, in the case of Smuggler's Run, or not. Now, a little commentary completely off topic from this, just about these two cars you've been looking at this whole time. Uh, the Brioso, actually, is a, it's a much different car than what I expected. I mean, it's a four-wheel drive compact. I, um, I really expect it to be this tremendous handling car with a lot of acceleration and maybe not a lot of top speed or something like that. But it's very quick but very 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 unstable i mean this thing can go up on two wheels in a heartbeat and it slides around like crazy you could spin it out like there's no tomorrow it's very touchy and i can see how you can it can be very fast if you get good with it i don't know 
how long it's going to take me to get good with it. But we'll, we'll see what goes on. And the Contender is just a dream to drive. I love driving around. I'm just starting to drive around the Contender. It's just it's just a great vehicle. I love it. It's, um, so we've got two good cars here. Two cars I'd highly recommend. Um, the Brioso, I don't know if I'm going to take it racing. Well, first of all, who races compacts and SUVs anymore? You don't see it very often. But there were just things I wanted to have just in case, you know, someone could dials up splits or something like that and you get to get into a race. But, uh, yeah, these are two really cool cars and I like them very much. On this note, and you'll see the bonus, let's, let's see, let's see if we can put the bonus clip in, like, right about here. And here's a quick update on the Luigi Mobile. I uh, I really really didn't like that just plain Jane green. It wasn't showing any of the uh, the bright green wasn't showing off any of the pearlescence. So what I did was I got an olive green, and you know olive green metallic sprayed it down with that, and then went with a dew yellow pearlescence. See that the, the the yellow highlights over the green. It makes it almost as green as the bright green. But there's there's complexity to it. I like this a lot more. I think that does does Luigi a much better service here. And of course, you know we have very similar things going with the red and blue and the uh, the Mario Mobile. This is, this I'm happy with, and it's fully upgraded now too. And I have to say, I really like driving this one. This one I got to adjust to, but this one I like driving this one. And we're back. See, there we go. We're back. You get to see you know the the final version of the Luigi Contender. And that's my thoughts on, some, on the Smuggler's Run. It has released us by being completely unattainable in its total form. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Do you think it's you know wrong for there to be too much content to take in, or is that a good thing? I mean, this makes this game, if they want to leave the servers up and running, this makes this a five, six year game. I mean, this is like one of those games you can just play forever. And, you know, just trying to achieve everything that you could possibly achieve with it. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm curious as to what y'all think about that. You know, is, is it the sort of thing where you just want smaller chunks so that you can just get everything and, you know, keep feeding that, that I need to have everything kind of feeling? Or do you feel liberated by all of this? I feel liberated. And on that note, this is The Black Knight. Have a great night.